Welcome back this evening. Infertility, it's a very real struggle for many. Couples dream of starting a family and then they have problems conceiving. You know, most associate it with the woman, but doctors actually say it's about as often an issue with the man. Two Works U reporter Micah Hatfield looks at one of the issues men face and what could be causing it in the story you'll see only on two. Testosterone therapy is said to get rid of stubborn belly fat, mental fogginess and fatigue but studies call it a preventable cause of male infertility. One, go get them there, please. Doctors have found testosterone levels fall by 1% every year in men when they hit 40 years old. Owner of the Oklahoma Men's Clinic, Greg Gerard, says men turn to testosterone replacement therapy to make them feel young again. It's a quality of life issue. Um, you know, you can either be one of those grumpy old men that we used to know back when we were growing up across the street and. They were probably really nice guys. They were just low on testosterone. Or you can go out there and really enjoy a high quality of life. But fertility specialist Dr. Stanley Pro says men who are trying to have a child should be cautioned against testosterone therapy. I, I just don't think that there's a lot of consideration given beforehand as to why they're placed on hormone replacement therapy. Dr. Pro says they see about 10 men a month who can't get their wives pregnant, and it turns out they're on testosterone, which he says is a birth control for men. Well, basically, it tells the brain that we have plenty of hormone. It stops sending the signals to the testes so they just stop working. They don't need to make testosterone and they stop making sperm. Gerard agrees. Testosterone therapy is not good for men trying to have a child. So at his clinic, they're switched to HCG. He says it doesn't give the full benefit of testosterone, but will still make men feel better and even gives them a boost with their fertility. Dr. Pro says more testing needs to be done to determine if these men even have a hormone deficiency and need to be on anything at all. HCG is a surrogate for LH in the testis and will make you make more testosterone. The deal is, do they really need more testosterone? I mean, that may not be the problem, just running it off of the, oh, your testosterone is a little bit low, but if sperm function is normal, if, if sexual function is normal, testosterone is not the problem. Gerard says doctors at his clinic do run several blood tests before starting patients on testosterone therapy. But Dr. Pro says rarely is a man's reproductive potential taken into account. And getting off the testosterone doesn't always mean they'll be able to produce sperm like they were before starting. It shuts it down and it, most men, if you do it fairly quickly, they'll have recovery of function, but some men don't have much recovery of function. The problem is you don't know where they were beforehand. Dr. Pro does admit some men do have a testosterone deficiency and should be treated, but says their whole health needs to be taken into account. Anytime when you're treating a person with medications, regardless, look at everything that's going on with that person before you just start throwing medicines at them. Make sure you do your research to find out what treatment is best for you. Back to you. Well, 